Time to fix the firewall gateway appliance server here at the Backyard Tech Channel. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, it's time we fix the firewall gateway server, the IBM eServer 325 that runs my, well, basically runs my entire gateway system here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Um, and we're also changing the, uh, the operating system that it'll be running. Now, for those that have been on the live stream conversations for the last few days, you'll know that I've been in bypass mode after the firewall failed. And I thought it was actually the backplane. It wasn't. Actually, the... SCSI U320 drive in it is what has failed. So we're going to go out, we get another hard drive for it, and I'm not going to run Indian Community Firewall anymore. Now, let me just say from the outset, this is nothing to do with Indian. I think Indian's Community Firewall is great, but I need a UTM. Now, you guys know I am a massive rap for Komodo's internet security platform. I think their entire platform is second to none. I'm putting Komodo Dome onto the IBM server. Um, everything I've seen about it says that it beats the pants off, uh, off Indian. Now, like I said, this is not me throwing Indian Community Firewall to the wall. I would never do that. I think Indian's... Um, entire cybersecurity firewall and UTM platform is good, very good. I need a UTM. So, Komodo, Dome, UTM free is brilliant. I've been testing it for a few days virtually. So we're going to head out of the workshop now. We're going to put in a new hard drive into the IBM server and then we're going to install it. So, let's get into it. All right, well, here we are at the workshop. It's nice and quiet out here at the moment, isn't it? All right, so I've turned the network switch back on and rerouted it back to the switch on the desk. We've got the Komodo Dome installation media. We've got a new 73 gig SCSI U320. Um, this was just in my pile of spare SCSI drives, so it doesn't matter what's on it, it'll get deleted anyway. And then once we've got that, we'll bring the V490 back up. So let's... Uh, Let's bring up the IBM. There we go. Struggling to focus on the screen. Loading the boot menu. Here's the... Uh, Here's the dead drive. It is a, uh, I'm not sure what, what brand of drive this is, but um, it is, uh, I can get some light on the situation. See there, it's a 73, 15,000 rev drive. I don't know who makes it, but I've put in a HP uh, 10,000 rev SCSI U320. So it's 73 gig. It's amazing how many people badmouth SCSI U320 these days. They're all, it doesn't work, and nothing you can't use it anymore. It takes too long to do anything. It's like, you know, so what? I mean, it works. That's all I care about. All right. So we'll boot off the CD drive and put a full Komodo UTM into it. That booted a bit quick. VM Linux, initial RAM disk image. Okay. So I don't know anything about this. I must say though that, you know, I'm a big rap for Komodo. Um, I think their, their cyber security platform is second to none. Um, you know, I run Komodo everything, and I think it's just, I, I'm yet to find anything better. I think it beats a vast, it beats Norton, uh, it beats a lot of them. And um, 
I have no problem in, um, you know, talking about them because I think they're great. Oh, it sits on CentOS. Okay. So it'll be the Anaconda installer. Um, I have absolutely no hassle with Komodo. Um, and, you know, I mean, I run Komodo on all my Linux systems. I run it on the Macs. And I run it on my Windows systems as well. And it is just great. I have absolutely no problem with them. So we'll get the installation process started. It's taking some time. Oh, that's right. That's a slow optical drive, isn't it? I think it's only a dual speed optical drive. All right. I hope this fires. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I might have to get another um, server or SFF or something into it. And there we go. It's found local installation media. I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, what have we got? Anaconda 1321229. It's basically the Red Hat installer. Examining storage devices. And we're off and racing. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's pretty quick actually, which is nice. EXT4 file system on device SCSI disk 2. SCSI disk 2? Oh no, SCSI disk A partition 2. Sorry. Alright, retrieving in installation and see if it'll actually fire off. And it will. Alright, so we'll. Uh, We'll see what this entails in setting this up. Okay, off we go. All right, once this is installed, we'll come back. All right. I'm nearly finished here. Once this is done, the next thing we've got to do is then using this, using the little laptop is um, set up the interfaces and uh, which will be green, blue and orange plus the IP addressing and everything. Running post installation scripts, which is good. So we'll um, we'll connect this into the back of the server, onto the green zone, and uh, log in that way. I'll just wait for it to finish the post installation scripts. And then we'll uh, get a network lead and get it all set up, log in and have a look around. I'm actually happy to have a full UTM firewall. I think it's going to offer me far better protection. And I'm, like I said, I'm not having a dig at Indian Community Firewall. It's been great, but I really want a UTM uh, basis more than just a firewall with a bit of IPS and that. So... Having a full UTM system is is much better um, for me personally. Whether you agree with that whole scenario is up to you, but for me personally, I think it's better. Running post installation scripts. Jeez, how long is this going to take? <laughs> what is this doing? That DVD ROM drive is awfully slow. That's all right. The main goal of this is to harden up my cyber security personally so which I need to do I mean in today's environment the more secure you can make yourself 
the better it is, I think. Alright, once this is done, we'll come back. Still running the um, post install scripts. So I'm not, I don't know how much longer it'll take. I'm wondering if I've accidentally, instead of putting a 10,000 rev drive in this, I may have accidentally put a 7200 rev drive in it. But anyway, now, <coughs> while that does that, I've got uh, this now plugged into the back of the server. You can see there, no, no network connectivity. So, you can see here, this is still running post installation scripts. And... Uh, no network there so once this is done what it's got to do then we'll come back we'll log into it and then we'll get it all set up all right well I think it's about to reboot or at least I hope it's about to reboot no oh, there's in have a look at this there's Indian huh This doesn't actually look so good. Um, this does not look good at all. Alright. We'll, uh, we'll have to come back. I'm wondering if I mucked something up. Hang on a moment. Alright, well it's just gone into reboot. So the next thing we've got to do, once it reboots, we've then got to go hunting for which uh, Nick this is attached to for DACP coming off that. I'm assuming it should be EA, uh, EM0 um, rather than on the card of CAS0123. So I'm hoping it's EM1, but it could be EM0 or it could be one of the CAS ones. So we'll just have to find out which one it attaches to. All right. So once this is uh, all booted up, we'll, uh, we'll come back. All right. So it's now loading. it is and then we've got to go hunting for which Nick is on the green okay so wait for it to load everything up and then we've got to go hunting for the green zone Komodo dome firewall 2.3 sitting on kernel 2.6.32 dash what we got there 504 Still got some modules to load. Alright. Once they've loaded, uh, which I think the drive, the hard drive's still working, is it? Oh no, it must have already loaded. Okay. Alright, we'll see which one's got uh, which one's got uh, the green zone on it. All right, well, we are completely up and running here at the moment. I will uh, we'll go into the office in a minute and bring it up there, and we'll have a look around it. But this is Komodo Dome UTM firewall, and uh, you can see it there. And this is, this is great. I love this. Anyway, all right, we'll, uh, we'll go back to the desk and have a bit of a sticky beak. Before we go back to the desk, I probably should actually reboot the V490. <laughs> that tends to be a good idea if I want network connectivity, doesn't it? Anyway, once it's booted, we'll uh, we'll head back to the desk. Alrighty, well here is my new UTM firewall. This is Komodo Dome, and look, I I can't complain about this. I, this is unbelievable. It is that damn good. All right, so let's let's go have a look at uh, some statuses here. We'll go and have a look at the network status, and it will take a little bit of time to load as usual. Or not? And there we go. Okay, it's still setting itself up and everything. But what it has done on the back of the uh, 
E25 server has modified these. Port 1 used to be the red zone, it's now the green zone, and port 2 used to be the green zone, but it's now the red zone. So that's uh, all good. Great traffic graph. Absolutely great traffic graph. I love this. Um, I had it with Indian, but it wasn't as detailed. And that was the other thing. It was not nowhere near as detailed. We'll go have a look at the... Um, the firewall you can see here we can put in some virtual IPs we can get the system access uh, we've got VPN and IPsec availability um, we can go and have a look at the network status oh we've seen that sorry we can have a look at some of the system graphs as you can see here I mean this is just this this is what I wanted um, we can set up high availability so I can actually trunk say two NICs together to give me a two gig connection if I want um, we've got central management if I need it as you can see there I can turn it on if I want some of the services we've got um, DACP servers running on one of the NICs you can see there we've got ATP advanced I think we can do a Valkyrie uh, I've only got Valkyrie at the moment, that's alright. We've got a full IPS setup. Now, this is what I really wanted. This beats Indian community by a long way, believe you me. Um, and, I mean, this is just great. We can set up a, a Wi Fi hotspot if I want it. We've got ICAP connectivity, as you can see there. And we can set up full. Um, QoS, including rules, classes, and all devices. We've got a full HTT, HTTP proxy. And I can, um, you can see there, I can set up uh, however I want to get it all set up. I mean, this is just brilliant. Um, and I'm looking forward to actually... Um, getting this thing fully figured out, fully um, set up and ready to rock. Um, to the developers at Komodo, look, um, if they watch this, you guys, me here at Backyard Tech, I'm running your Komodo Antivirus Premium. I think it's wonderful. A friend of mine who runs a computer business in, or who works at a computer business in Geelong has now partnered with you. Um, you know, it, it and, and now to have UTM firewall here is just brilliant. Um, you know, it really is phenomenal and it's great. And you can see here that my IPS is on, um, it'll um, check the live logs and everything like that. Um, you can see here, uh, contract valid till 2118 2118 100 year license I mean you can't beat it you cannot beat it so there we go my new system and I'm very very happy with it very happy with it so the new firewalls in and going I will finish up the uh, I will finish up all the um connectivity and, and firewall and everything like that at a later date but uh, there we go dome firewall utm well done komodo another great product from you until then as always we shall catch you in the next video thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe cheers